all right hello to all my friends and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here thank you for stopping in um since i'm slowly planning a trip to indonesia and well a lot of southeast asia next year i figured i would need to start thinking about transportation and anytime you think about transportation in indonesia now you have to think about the new bullet train which i have to admit i am a little jealous of um this video is from jason travel and it's titled first class on jakarta's bullet train and there's a link in the description and naturally i'm interested in first class so i want to check it out and just see how this new train looks and i have a feeling i'm going to be impressed and my cat just fell in my aquarium i'll be right back all right we're back um the cat's okay the fish are okay the cat's a little upset because she got wet but she's laying here at my feet and i think she's gonna pull through she'll just be a gr little grumpy for the rest of the night um so back to the video as you can see i did skip ahead a few chapters because these were mostly um you know going through the terminal and uh he got some iced coffee looked at a model train um i think he was in the lobby or whatever i just wanted to get straight to the train part so here we go we are at the front of the train and ready to board oh my god it's beautiful let's take a let's take a look at the train Looks like some kind of like spaceship. I know it's traveling along the ground, but it looks like it's it's designed to go into space. Wow, that... I do really like the looks of it. That's a nice design. You know, that color scheme, the gray with the red and the different shades of red. That is a very pretty train. I will give it that. It's insane. Let's just um, let's just stand here and just bask in the beauty of this train. You know, I appreciate trains. Look how like long the uh, I don't know what you call it. The snout is. <laughs> oh, it's super high tech with the like the lights glowing. Oh my god, the, uh, and the window's tinted there. I guess the driver can see me inside there. You can see the... Uh, oh, it has a, uh, a windscreen wiper as well. I guess that's for the bugs that get, like, splattered at high speed. Oh, I didn't say how fast um, the train goes as well. It goes a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Yeah, just look at it in the background there. I have to admit that I have uh, only rode a train once because our rail system in the United States is very bad and we're way behind most of the civilized world. <clears throat> we don't even have, you know, trains like this. We don't have them. We need them bad. And the train trip I took, it was like a four day train trip from Fargo to seattle washington fargo north dakota seattle washington it was a three day trip might have been a three day trip i got a sleeper car for it and i actually enjoyed it it was a nice you know seeing the scenery and you know leisurely it wasn't like flying so i kind of envy the rest of the world for having decent trains It's just suddenly started pouring it down with rain. It is the rainy season. It's a good job that we're underneath, uh, underneath here. You can just see other uh, very proud uh, people taking pictures next to their country's first high-speed rail. Oh man, I know I'm awake, but I feel like I'm in a dream. This, sta this station as well, just look at that. Look at the, uh, the architecture, the tracks, the train. 
I wonder what time uh, I should head inside. We're setting off at 1... 102, so I've still got like 20 minutes. I believe I'd go ahead and start boarding. You know, 20 minutes, I believe I'd go ahead and get on. More and more people are now uh, coming to the front to get a selfie, get a nice picture with the train. I don't want to, I don't want to stand in their shot and ruin their shot. What a beauty. Okay, now let's head inside. Hello. Let's uh, find my seat. I am in seat 1F. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, now that's a very nice cabin. Look at that. It is first class, but still that is Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look. One. Oh, that's three. Oh, I thought I'm at the front. Ah, yes, I booked at the. So one is actually right next to the uh, the driver's cabin here. Oh my God, look at this. This is amazing. There's my seat. In all its glory, let me just uh... so you ride facing backwards on the trains. Why is that? I wonder, that's kind of odd to me. Put my back down first, oh, let me just get a uh, better shot of the entire cabin here. So you can see there's some, um, there's not many seats actually, uh, and there's one first class cabin a uh, carriage at this end of the train and then also i believe there's one at the other end of the train so there's two carriages that you can choose from wow this is pretty cool it's like in a little spaceship oh i guess on the return trip you'll be going forward so one of them's going backwards and the other one's going forward if it's just going back and forth like that i bet that's why that makes sense let's just head outside and then over here we have the, um, uh, the, I think it's called business class, the second class, which is also quite lovely. Look at these red, these kind of red, uh, red chairs. Let me just uh, sit down on one of these. Oh, man. The leather is just like super fresh. And then if we go further down, you have the normal class down here. Um, wait, maybe we'll check that out later. Let's go back to my VVIP first class. There you can see uh, the president of Indonesia there just doing a little speech. That was when it first opened, I believe. Okay, I'm causing my trouble here. Let me just head back. <laughs> yeah, stupid tourist. Guys in a traffic jam in the aisle. Let me head back. I'm the only I'm the only one here so far. There's no one here. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, explore this seat. Okay, let's see uh, how far does it lay down. It's not not that bad. Man, everything is just so new. I mean, it, it did it only. It recently opened. I think just last late last year. Um, oh, we got a window blind here. We're gonna be keeping that up. Oh, it's super smooth. Oh. It's like a little space pod. What's this? Oh. Oh, I have a control of a light here. Okay. Here we have a uh, hook. Oh, maybe I should put my bag there. Can I just hang my bag there? Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Let's check this. We have a little footrest. Okay, very lovely. Place my feet on there. Okay, and then down there we have a charging port. Also, um, 
again, let's take a look here. We have a little, does this open? How does this work? <sighs> Quite sure. Is it this side? Ah, oh, I was, was on the wrong side. Pull, pull out the tray table. And have some, uh, I'm not too sure if I do get a meal uh, on this train because it's only like 40 minutes, so. It's just lovely. Okay, wait, let's pull that back inside. Okay, what else? What else do I have? This is a very detailed inspection of this. Uh, does this come off? Oh, it moves. Ah, it moves up and down. If you're a tall chap, um, like me, I'm not trying to show off. 185 centimeters. <laughs> Um, and plenty of leg room as you can see being uh, 185 so my legs are just like bent slightly like that okay Got a little... I'm not even sure what the conversion is for 185 centimeters I'll have to do that after I watch this video I ain't sure if he's tall or not place for storage here I just saw another another train. Just I uh, just one one second. Uh, one second. I just, <laughs> she was like, uh, we're about to leave you. <laughs> I just saw another train came uh, up at a side. Oh my god, look at that. Two of them together. That is just beautiful. Alright, gotta get back on before the train takes off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I made it back in time. I just had to get that shot of two of them together. That's quite a, uh, that's quite a rare shot to see. Oh, there it is. The other one. Anyway. Oh my God, we've started. We've started to move now. The train is moving. Say bye bye to Jagat. Oh, so he is going forward. So he's at the back end of the train on this trip. Okay, and then the other first class cabins going backwards. And we are going to Bandung. Hard to leave the station now. I wonder if it's still raining. It just completely started to uh, chuck it down with rain. I hope it's not raining in Bandung. Right, let's have a little look down the uh, down the train. Um, there's actually uh, I need the toilet. Right, so we have the toilet here. That is pretty nice compared to airplane toilets. Very interesting. Nice little sink here. I mean, that's, that's at least triple or quadruple the size of an airplane toilet, I would say. So, air freshener. And then the, uh, the bum gum to uh, spray your bum. Uh, now I'm going to have uh, a little tinkle. Uh, I'm not going to film that, obviously. Um. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Greatly appreciate that he's not going to film that. Anyway. Right, let's explore down to the uh, economy class of the train here. Uh, which is also uh, quite lovely and uh, absolutely worth it. Oh, I'm surprised how full the economy class is and there's nobody else in the first class. That is surprising. But I guess if it's only a 40-minute ride, does it really even matter to pay 
you know, any extra money that much because these look pretty comfortable to me. Why did it get so dark out? That was quick how dark it got outside. So uh, let's quickly head back this way. Oh, and I'm facing everyone now. Uh, so this is quite, uh, this is quite interesting. <laughs> Okay, so there's is there a lot of tunnels on the route, I wonder? Okay, oh I think it's me next. Okay. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh this side, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have some water. Water and some snacks. Thank you. Just two things inside, bread and a uh, apple juice drink. Interesting. But we're back out the tunnel. That is an interesting choice of a snack. You got a water and apple juice and some bread. <sighs> that's that's kind of interesting. I'm starting to uh, pick up speed now. Oh, it says there, current speed, 168. It doesn't even feel like even that fast, and we're not at the top speed yet. It's getting faster and faster. 184. Oh my god. Look at the window. Seven. 
three, four, seven. Oh my god, look at everything just whizzing by outside. Oh my god. That is insane. Wow, that's pretty that it goes to the jungle too, like that. Oh, and it's uh, we've travelled that fast that we actually escaped the rain. There's blue skies. We're heading to blue skies. It was raining like a second ago. Okay, we have arrived, I believe. Um, we've arrived at Padalarang. Padalarang. Um, I think this is the station I'm supposed to get off at. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um, and we're here in Bandung. Man, that was super quick. I feel like I've only just got on the train. Anyway. There's another shot of the train again. I think now I switched to another train uh, to get into the, uh, the center of Bandung. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. It says it's going to Tega... Tega Luar. Did I get off a... Uh, a station too early? Um, well, anyway, we're gonna find out. <laughs> there goes the train. I think I may have got off. <laughs> That's pretty funny he got off too early. I see that he gets on later in the video on another green train. So I'm guessing he finally makes it to his destination. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it there because I just wanted to see that specific train right now and I don't want the video getting too long. Okay, a quick update on my cat. She is weaving in and out of my leg trying to dry herself off. So, looks like she's going to make it again. Um, I have to say I'm quite, quite jealous of this train that looks like an extremely nice train and i think he said in the description that it was only like 37 dollars or something like that which is just mind-blowing how cheap that is and economical um please let me know what you think in the description please like and subscribe if you want to and haven't already and stay safe and don't forget to smile wherever you are thank you for watching goodbye